Of all the golfers in the digital media world, many would consider Grant Horvat's golf swing to be the smoothest of them all. And Grant is certainly of the most talented of all of those golfers. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down some aspects of Grant Horvat's swing that allow him to have such a smooth motion. And hopefully along the way, you guys can learn a few things to implement into your own golf swings to make your golf swing even better. For some context here, Grant was a pretty successful collegiate golfer. He played Division II golf down in Florida at Palm Beach Atlantic, had a couple great finishes. He had a T7 in the SSC Golf Championships, a T14 in 2019 as well. So he certainly had success in competitive golf. Grant's a bigger guy. He stands at 6'4", and he certainly has an athletic posture when he stands to the ball. I think the setup is often overlooked by a lot of folks, but Grant has pretty solid posture here, nice knee bend, and he just seems very comfortable over the golf ball. Whenever a golf swing is considered to be very smooth like Grant's is, I think a lot of that starts in the takeaway. Not only is Grant's takeaway rhythm and his swing tempo super solid, but I just love how he can maintain that V in the golf swing. This V can also be made a triangle when you're looking at the angles of both the left and right arm and how they interact with the target line going across your chest. For Grant, his left arm is a really big asset in this takeaway. The left arm not only remains very straight, but it has great width from his body, and that length from his body allows him to be pretty long. I don't think that Grant gets enough credit for how far he can hit the ball. If he can hit a high draw with a driver, that thing will go for miles, and a lot of that is because of the way that he utilizes that V, and at the top of his backswing, you can notice in this front-facing view how well he utilizes his upper body in this takeaway and in the top of the transitionary motion. Grant has that left arm pretty far stretched and it's pretty pinned against his body it takes a lot of flexibility and strength to do this but grant is a great athlete long arms so he really utilizes that motion at the top of the backswing to get a little bit more length and that straight left arm continues to his wrist angle, which is almost entirely straight. We don't really see much bend in that at all, which I love for this type of golf swing, which is a, largely a one-plane golf swing. And the final thing that I'll note about this transitionary move is that at the very top of that backswing, look how high those hands are. I know that Grant, one of Grant's favorite golfers is Justin Thomas, and I really see a lot of similarities between the top of the backswing of Justin Thomas and Grant Horvat. In that, those arms just being very high to the sky, very straight left arm and not a lot of wrist bend this is an excellent image to look at this top of the backswing image if you're looking to clean up the top of your backswing this is super fundamentally sound mechanics from grant now the beginning of the downswing is where this swing really makes its money i think that the right elbow just diving into the hip is an awesome motion especially for those who are looking for a draw so for you at home if you're struggling with a fade it may be because in your transitionary move when you're starting that downswing your right elbow for a right-handed golfer is going to become a little bit disconnected from your body. And when that right elbow becomes disconnected from your body, you're going to inherently swing across the ball and slice it. If you want to promote a draw, especially with the driver, try and collapse that right elbow and keep it pointing down into your hip. This is something that Grant does super, super well with the driver and throughout the entire bag. It's an awesome motion that a lot of people can learn from. Through the ball, it seems like that upper body is slightly more active than a lot of other players than the lower body a lot of players really rip those hips open in order to get their power it seems like grant you know he certainly utilizes his hips but a lot of his power does come from that upper body positioning he has those long arms and he uses the upper body to get through the ball especially hitting up with the ball through driver uh, it's it's a great motion and then as you see him come through the ball his left foot actually clears out sometimes with the driver um, in the videos that i've seen of grant swing you almost never see that left foot moving with his short irons or even mid irons but when he really wants to get after one that left foot is going to come off the ground and come out against his target line a little bit and all this is doing is just allowing him to clear his weight through the ball let those hips fire let him leverage the ground a little bit he leverages the ground so much when he wants to get after a drive that that left foot just comes off the ground and away from the target line this is something that's totally fundamentally sound there's nothing there's no issue with it but it is important to note that 
in Grant Swing, you will only see this with a driver, maybe with a three wood, but all the other irons where you're not just trying to max out your distance, don't try and just get after the ball the best that you can. With driver, you can absolutely do it because if you go a little bit longer than normal, that's fine, but you don't want to be hitting your eight iron 10 yards longer than normal. That won't end well. So that left foot move with the driver is certainly interesting. It's not too uncommon these days. I feel like a lot of golfers are doing it, but it's just another way that Grant really shows how his weight is properly transferring and firing through the ball off the tee. So that was the mechanical breakdown of Grant swing I think that above all the way that he swings the club as I've mentioned earlier is very athletic it's very controlled that is really where the smoothness comes in it's in your swing rhythm and your swing tempo there is nothing rushed about Grant Horvat's swing even as I mentioned earlier when he tries to get after a drive he remains balanced and balance is such a key factor in any great golf swing especially the smooth ones staying within yourself and staying balanced so if you're on the driving range I, I would recommend filming yourself not in slow motion just in normal speed and make sure that you're balanced with the ball and with driver just try and swing 75% if what you do on the course is 100% slow it down to 75% and just see where that gets you I absolutely love this golf swing I think there's so many teachable aspects which doesn't surprise me because I know that Grant is a student of the game he's fascinated by the instructional aspects and it's very clear that he's a bit of a swing nerd just by how great this golf swing is Grant has some serious game I know that he's obviously very focused on his business and the, the media aspect of what he does but if you really put some time into this golf game you know really focusing on practicing all aspects and sharpening everything I would not be surprised if this is someone who got status on a professional golf tour I'm not going to sit here and say that Grant could win on the PGA tour but if you wanted to pursue status on the the McKenzie tour the the corn ferry tour and Asian tour then I think that that's something that is a realistic goal for someone like Grant and the way that he plays tee to green let me know your thoughts on on the golf swing of Grant Horvat. If there's anything that I mentioned or failed to mention, anything you have questions on, please leave them in the comment section down below. As always, thank you all very much for watching. Play well and take care.